have no title. I'm just a brother in Christ, like you're a brother or sister in Christ. But I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, and I hope you are too. Uh, today I want to share something that I discovered in my recent trip to Israel. Uh, when I was there in Jerusalem, I needed to rent a car. And so I went to rent the car, and there was a young lady there, and uh, she spoke little English, but she spoke Hebrew real well. Anyway, she helped me, and so as we went to get the car, I asked her, I said, do you know about Yeshua? And she didn't understand what I was saying, but she was very interested. So she went to get her young friend also to, to interpret. So when her friend came, and I asked her if she knew Yeshua, you know, Yeshua who died for her sins, right away, when the interpreter started to speak, she literally ran away. I was going, what? And so I, the interpreter uh, happened to be a Messianic Jew, a believer in Yeshua, Jesus. And she shared with me that um, over there, if the, if, the, if the family is an ultra-Orthodox Jewish family, they, well, this is what she told me, is they will beat their children if they say the word Yeshua. If they hear that they were talking to somebody about Yeshua, Jesus, they're in deep trouble. I was, I, 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 I was saddened, so sad to hear this. Thereafter, I go up to Nazareth and, uh, and visit a church there. And there was a young girl there, uh, full of the Spirit, and she brought her best friend who wasn't saved. And she wanted to share with her, and so she's talking to me. So I, I, I gave her uh, scriptures, uh, I gave her scripture from Isaiah uh, 714, where it talks about a shuk, uh, being born of a virgin, the old text, the Hebrew text. And I gave her uh, Zechariah 99, where he comes in on a donkey, meek and humble, to die for our sins. And in, in Isaiah 53, where it talks about him suffering, suffering for our iniquity. You see, it, it's all there in their text. But no one accepts it. But this is a sad thing, brothers and sisters. I want to take you to the crucifixion, right? Uh, in Matthew, uh, it talks about the crucifixion. And when Jesus is being crucified, for many hours, he's suffering. He yells out something that is very hard to understand, but I will give you the understanding through the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. He says, Father, why have you forsaken me? That means leave, left. He's crying. The Father cannot stand to see Jesus, Yeshua, with all the sins of the world, from all the sins from the past and future on Jesus, on the cross, holding him there. He can't stand to see it. It hurts him. His heart is broken. And then uh, when Jesus, they believe he is dead, they take a sword to make sure and they stab him and blood and water come out. The water is representing his heart is broken. It's broken because the Father had departed from him. The only time the Father and the Son have ever been separated and the only time they ever will be. But can you see, can you see the heartache that they did for you and me? And then, can you imagine? He came for the Jews. He loves the Jews. Make no mistake about it. He loves the Jews. He came for the Jews first, and second, the Gentiles. But they crucified him. And then he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. That's because they didn't know. They thought he was going to Set up a kingdom here, which he's going to. They didn't realize that he had to be the sacrificial lamb to die for everyone's sins. Who what? Who accepts him as their Lord and Savior. And, and today, these Orthodox Jews believe, well, I'm the seed of Abraham. So I'm automatically going to go to heaven and be with God. Well, brothers and sisters, that's not so. That's not so. The Bible is very clear. The only way to the Father is through Yeshua, through Jesus. There's no in-between. Nobody comes in between them. He is our mediator, 
our intercessor, and our Savior. And if they do not accept Him as their Savior, they're not going to make it. So, uh, brothers and sisters, you know, uh, I'm going to read two scriptures on this. One is uh, Isaiah 66, verse 5. Hear the word of the Lord, you tremble at His word. Your brethren who hated you, who cast you out for my name, for my name, that's a shoe's name, say, said, let the Lord be glorified that we may see his joy. But they shall be ashamed. They shall be ashamed. They should be ashamed right now for not allowing a shoe's name to be named. And they have to change that if they want to be in the kingdom with God and our Savior. And it's simple. They just got to accept him, live for him, repent, and then be filled with the Holy Spirit like you and I are. So it's important. It's important that you stand up for, for your Lord and Savior, his name, his namesake. This is the last passage in Matthew chapter 10, 34 through 37. Do not think, this is Jesus talking, sure. Do not think that I came to bring peace on the earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's enemy will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You see, brothers and sisters, so be bold. If you're in Israel and you're part of one of those families, you got to stand up for sure. Hopefully, they will change too. And if they don't, you can't put them over your love for Yeshua and your Savior. You've got to stand up for, for who you believe in. God says, Jesus says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you when you go to meet the Father. You don't want that, brothers and sisters. So please, uh, uh, do what you can to save as many souls as you can. Because Yeshua is coming back. He's coming back on the same Mount Olives that he ascended to heaven, he's going to descend from heaven, and when he gets here, have the love of Yeshua Jesus in your heart. So brothers and sisters, uh, remember to pray up and meet up every day and keep the love of Jesus Yeshua in your heart, and we'll all be with him in his kingdom someday. Thank you.